Algebra 1, this is section or chapter 3, section 9. This will be the second video on mixture problems um, in this set of problems that I've got here. So assorted dried fruit sells for 550 per pound. Okay, 550 per pound. So it's dried fruit is 550 per pound. And notice I've already got my table set up. So I'm going to start these first ones with the table set up, and then the later videos I'll show you about setting up the table. So dried fruit is 550 per pound, so I just put that right in my table. How many pounds, okay, so we're looking for how many pounds of mixed nuts is our question. Selling for 475 per pound, so our mixed nuts are 475 per pound, oops, that's seven. Um, should be mixed with 10 pounds of dried fruit, 10 pounds of dried fruit, to obtain a trail mix that sells for, okay, so the trail mix sells for 495. So there's all of our information filled into the table. So we need to start figuring out our problem here. So we want to know how many pounds of mixed nuts, how many pounds of mixed nuts would be X, we don't know. And then we start filling in the different squares. So if we've got X pounds of dried fruit, or 10 pounds of dried fruit, X pounds of mixed nuts. And the trail mix is when you mix the two, the dried fruit and the mixed nuts together. Since you're mixing them together, you're kind of adding them. So we're going to add these two things to get to our trail mix. So this is going to be 10 plus X here. Then we want to go work across to find total prices. Total prices are kind of the key to solving this. So if it's 10 pounds at 550 per pound, we're going to take the 10 times our 550. So we're multiplying here to equal this third column. And so our mix, X pounds of mixed nuts times our price per pound is going to be 475X. And then we've got this last box over here. And again, we can solve it coming down or we can solve it going out. And either way, if you're solving coming down the column or across the row, you should come out with the same number in this box. So um, let me go back to this first box here. 10 times 550 is actually 55. Right? This is a 55 right here. So if I take 50, uh, 55 pounds of dried fruit and 475 X pounds of mixed nuts, I should get my total trail mix. So that's going to be 55 plus, plus my 475X, that's going to be equal to whatever my trail mix is. So then if I work my way across, if I have 10 plus X pounds of trail mix, 10 plus X pounds of trail mix, I would multiply by that times the amount of price per pound. So that's going to be 495. And that would also give me my total cost for my trail mix. Now I've got one equation and I can solve it. So let me go through and get my uh, distributive property here so I can get to my variable. So this is a 55 plus 475x is equal to, well, 10 times 495, when you multiply by 10, you're moving the decimal one place. So that's 49.5. I sure hope you didn't grab your calculator for that. And then this is going to be 4.95x. Then you want to get all your variables in the same side of the equal sign. So I am going to move the smaller coefficient. 475 is smaller than 495. So I'm going to move the 475. It is a positive 475x. So the opposite of positive is negative. So I subtract 475x from both sides. That cancels out my 475 or makes that to a 0. So I've got 55 left on one side, and then I've got my 49.5. And 495 minus 475 would be a positive 0.2x. Then I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to, so to get x by itself, we would start at the bottom of the order of operations. So we're going to do addition and subtraction first. So let's grab and get rid of the 495, which is being added to the term with the x. It's a positive 495, so the opposite of a positive 49.5 is a negative. 
So if I subtract it from one side, I'm going to subtract it from the other side. So that's 49.5. And so the 49.5s cancel or go to zero. And then 55 minus 49.5, 55 minus 49.5 is a 5.5. And that's going to be equal to a 0.2x. And we all know that 0.2 is actually 1 fifth, so I could just multiply both sides by 5. Or if you don't like doing that, you can do the opposite of multiplying by 0.2 by dividing by 0.2 on both sides. So 5.5 divided by 0.2 or 5.5 times 5, either one gives you 27.5 as x. So now we know what X is. Let's go back and reread our question. So our question was, how many pounds of mixed nuts should be mixed with the dried fruit? So how many pounds of mixed nuts? Mixed nuts was X, and we're looking for how many pounds. So X is in pounds, and that's our answer. So our answer would be 27.5 pounds, and that was of our mixed nuts, right? Of mixed nuts. Nuts. Okay, that answers our question being asked.